Welcome back, everybody, to WWE Supercard Season 2, Episode 6. And I'm hoping that you guys like what I've done so far in my time here on YouTube and everything. And we will get right into the game with more, more of the King of the Ring. Last I knew, I was in... Well, we'll show you right now. Oh, and we got a free the free bonus. And if you didn't know, the free bonuses of the month are Common Randy Orton, Uncommon Triple H, Rare Ultimate Warrior, Super Rare Sting, and that would make my second Sting, and Ultra Rare Seth Rollins. And that is for that one, and oh, okay. Hopefully, I'm still recording <laughs> because I went to hit the egg button and missed up. As you can see in the King of the Ring, I am sitting 28th. There, would I am sitting. First place with 28 wins, 5 losses, because frankly once it goes down just a little bit on the energy, the, that's when I start losing. And speaking of the energy, let's see where we are. We are still top right, and apparently I need to go get some uh, energy here. I have 11 left out of 25, so let's continue with that. If anybody has any questions about me, and I hit the wrong button, or want to send letters to me, I will put that in the description bar below. Because this morning I sent a letter to Biggie Dude, and I hope he reads it for Super Saturday. It would mean a lot, and uh, after... Seeing some of the stuff that he does with his dad, it made me start thinking that about the old times when me and my dad used to do stuff. So we're going to go, and my ranking for win-loss record is 14,000, or 1,447, and only 377 losses. To me, that ain't bad compared to season when I first started how to play. And like I said before, there are some people on here with a whole shitload of uh, wins and zero losses. Frankly, I do not understand that. And we'll see where we go from here. I'm trying to get, get more energy so I can compete in the King of the Ring more. Hopefully by tonight... Or tomorrow, the King of the Ring will be done. But I doubt it. Solo match. And I always lead up. For some reason, I always lead up with my strongest card. Just because it will give me an easy win. Depending on the card. And I noticed that the new... The, the, the red legendary ones, which are like the Undertakers. They are more powerful than the normal legendaries. And now, or in the King of the Ring, I am training up my second Bret Hart and the two, or the, the, the four cards that I have as my tag team, The Rock and Daniel Bryan, to hopefully at the end of that, I can fuse them together and make a powerful team. We won that first one, hopefully the second one we can win. And as of it stands, I will win it because it... I noticed that I can fight like the I normally fight the Undertaker with with uh, my Roddy Piper, and normally Undertaker beats me. But it all depends on how people train their cards. If they train their cards all the way up, like uh, Big E dude and Dallas Morale always say to do, 
you're gonna be a pretty good card. But if you just fuse them together after you uh, love them all right to be just perfect pro, the outcomes are not as good. So you gotta basically level them up and let all their things go to 20, 30, depending on what kind of card you have. Like the epics go to 30. I think the commons only go to 10 or 20. But I know super uh, rare, super rare, ultra rare, they all go to 20. So once they all get jacked up that high with both your cards, please. And they all and they have to be perfect pro. Combine them and they will give you your ultimate total and, and uh, power. Which I think is awesome. And we're slowly going, uh, getting our energy. I would love to get, since I'm in the epic tier, I would love to get an epic card. But you know, this is all I get. I, I get rares. And they're all, most of them are the same ones. Like, I got multiple. This is the first time I've seen a Jericho. Normally I get Wade Barrett. Jimmy or Jey Uso, but to me these are only these cards are only here to fill, uh, feed the rest of them. I don't use the rares, and I hit the wrong button because it's gonna go out of here and it's gonna say send to Facebook. Even though I don't see them on Facebook, I gotta learn to hit no because. It really don't do nothing. Now I got the ultimate or the uh, epic John Cena, which I know most people did. Uh, Biggie dude did with a Roman Reigns. Uh, Dallas, I think, got an epic Cena and a stop sign, just like me. Top sign. But I want to congratulate Big E Dad for getting The Undertaker. Speaking of The Undertaker, there he is. I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable with the camera. And like I say in my other videos, the two other things I do, I started playing the WWE Immortals again and Injustice Gods Among Us. I do not use the face cam in those because it will mess with, the camera will shake too much when I tap the button. And I cheat with the, uh, with this game because of my big fingers. I use a stylus pen. So, and I notice sometimes that I think I'm going to win this one. Oh yeah, I did. Because normal sometimes, depending on how you train them as well, the regular. And I, I will repeat this. Season two cards will beat the uh, loyalty fusion cards. Not often, but they have, and they will. And I'm going to lose that one because of Mr. Undertaker. Yep. And I think the cards are a lot cooler this year compared to Season 1's. Oh, and speaking of... The rare cards, the, the like the like the challenge cards, ring domination is the next event, and from what I understand, it will be the second Undertaker to this one, since you cannot get 
both of them at once anymore. Which, my opinion on that, it was stupid to take them out. Because if you're, if you're grinding and busting your ass in the challenges to only get one of the cards, that is bad. I think you, and that is the first ultra rare one of those I've gotten. But like I said, that is food. That is food that I will feed one of my characters that needs it. I do not put them into my characters unless I have to. And I think they're a waste of the, uh, the boosts are a waste of card space to me. And if you pull one of the boosts, it should be a card like a, like a epic, or not an epic, but a, uh, common and uncommon and not reset. Any of the boosts, whether it's the higher up, should count as a as a common and an uncommon, and never reset the game. But I'm not the creators of Cat Daddy, and they did not think that through. As I was saying about the challenges, if you're busting your ass to get the challenges, you should get both in one shot. Not wait. Especially in PCC and Road to Glory. Ring Domination is a different story. Because you know you gotta bust your ass hard. And even Ring Domination. If you make it to whatever the highest thing is and get you that one card and you still have enough time you should be able to get another card. And that's what they took out of the game this year. And I do not like it. I think if you, like I said, I think, and I repeat myself, and I'm sorry, because I do. But, to me, you're busting your butt. You're earning those cards. You should get both cards in the same event. You should get, like, say, this one was the Undertaker. You should get two Undertakers if you got the Undertaker. The rest on down, if it's not the major event card, you get what you get. I'm okay with that. But if you get the the event card, whether it was Brock Lesnar, if he won, or the Undertaker, because he won, you should get both rare cards. And like I said, I hope you guys enjoy. I have too much free times on my hand because I help my mom with my dad and everything. I used to walk every day to lose weight, but since my dad's been sick, I've been gaining weight dramatically lately. And it sucks for me. But, what can you do? But I will always continue to do my firefighting stuff. As you can see behind me with the, uh, the fire thing on the wall. I am a firefighter. That does come first, but when I am have to babysit my dad when my mom's uh, running errands. Son first, firefighter second. But that's how I choose it to be. And that's the way it should be. And we won that one. So we will get another energy. And let's see what we get. As Biggie Dad would say, the common in the middle. Actually, in this one, it was an energy.
we're gonna do one more match then I will be done for the night until tomorrow when I do episode number seven I will not I will not do Smackdown or, uh, since my schedule has changed where I'm doing more stuff with the firefighter during the winter time I will still post my videos for Injustice Supercards and Immortals but if I have time I will do the reviews for like NXT or TNA but I'm not promising you that and I'm gonna cut back down to only doing the raw ones and the pay-per-view ones because I won't have time for the SmackDown ones because on th Wednesday nights I help out with the fire department doing f the, the fireman's bingo because that's our big thing every year every winter for the, for the community and Thursdays I have pool which I do every year so we'll finish out this match and then we'll say so long farewell oh Vader Zane hasta la bye bye and the one thing that I do like about this, and, I, and I'll close this one out after I get the rewards. Is that the fact that you don't have to buy throwback cards. It automatically gives you them. And I hopefully it gives you to them on Thursdays. Because that would be pretty cool instead of buying a separate pack every Thursday for them. We get the complimentary energy. Let's see what we get before I end this out. Eric Rowan and a right back. I have been Fireproof Tim Shepard. Thank you for watching WWE Supercards with me. And have a great, great night or morning depending on where you are. I will say Peace. Out of here.